Yo, what is going on, you crispy Cubone? Today we're playing some games with the Jolteon Evolution Box, whatever you want to call it. The main point of the deck is to utilize Jolteon as your main attacker, and then we got uh, this other Jolteon, which reduces our attacks by one colorless for our Pokemon GX that evolve from EV. This guy gives them plus 60 HP. This guy gives them plus 30 damage. So we're gonna be sitting with a Jolteon with 260 HP, HP doing 30 damage or doing plus 30 damage, um, and that can that only needs to attack for one Lightning Energy throughout the whole game. Uh, yeah, so we have four EV GX and four EV to set up all these EV Lucians. One to Dene, just in case we don't get a draw supporter. Coco Prism as another form of energy acceleration, so we can even attack with the Head Bolt Jolteon if we want to. Like, if we want to use a one prize Pokemon to offset the prize trade. Uh, we got two Cherish Ball, four, four Comp, four Quick for our Pokemon Search. More four E Powers, because the Jolteon is Lightning type. May as well do some more damage some more times. Two Big Charms to make Jolteon that much bigger. And then to abuse Jolteon having 290 HP, um, ideally. We got four super scoop ups. They hit us, we pick it up, put it back down. Uh, some stamp. Mention the draw supporters. The only 16, six lightning energy because that's all we really need. Let's go ahead. Let's get into some games. All right, going first here in this first one. Uh, pretty good, as long as we get enough EVs out. Otherwise, it feels like sometimes going second is a little bit better with this deck because getting out a bunch of EVs is kind of the, the game plan of the deck. But it should be good. It should be good. We'll be fine. Um, yeah, no idea what we're up against. Find out here just in a bit. Ooh, all right. That is literally the worst starter we can possibly start with. All right, we opened a Dene, sure. Why, uh, why not? Why not open our one of uh, support Pokemon? Okay, sure. Well, we got a Cherish Ball, we got a Cobb, so we can set up two EVs, um, and then we have the research to go with for next turn. We can even attach one of the EVs as well. Um, so it's all right. Our opening hand is still fine. The, it just kind of stinks to have opened our, uh, opened our Dene here. Um, oh well though, can't do anything about it, just gonna have to keep pushing forward. Yeah, get some EVs out, um, there's another EV, and we definitely want to, um, ooh, they're playing a Spirit Tomb deck. You always want to get out the GX EVs first, so that way later in the game you only are putting down these EVs. Um, I'm debating, like, holding the Jolteon to make sure I have the Jolteon evolve on the next turn. Not sure. Getting another EV out would also be nice though, is the thing. Let's just go with that EV. We have a lot of ways to find Jolteon, so it should be fine. Once again, getting that EVGX. Because uh, we want to make these EVGXs like the uh, Jolteon. Uh, or like the Flareon, probably. And then the Vaporeon. Then we want to make this one a Jolteon GX. And then we're going to go like non-GX EVs over here. So if we scoop this guy up. Or we can put, when we put these down, there's no more GXs in play. Besides, of course, unfortunately, this Dedene will be a GX in play. Um, so it looks like our opponent is playing a Spiritomb deck. Um, with the Jinx. Spiritomb and Jinx. All right. Um, they can get they can get up there. They can get quite a bit of damage. I think if we get the Vaporeon down, and maybe a big charm down, though, we should be okay. I don't think they're gonna be able to hit that hard, that consistently. So yeah, just Vaporeon plus Jolteons should be enough here. I don't think they can hit us that hard. They can't hit for like 260 every single turn. Maybe once if they play Big Charm. Right, there's ADP. Once ADP gets involved, they can hit a little bit harder actually. Um, yeah, they can hit quite a bit harder with the ADP, though. Okay. That's fair. That's fair. Um, they do need to get to the ADP chicks attack, though. So that'll slow them down a little bit. There's also three prize cards in play for us to take advantage of. So, so again, yeah, not too too worried about it. And we'll see actually having how well they draw here. There's a research. Acrobike into research. Let's see what they got rid of here. Great catcher down. Catcher down. Uh, the shrine is down. All right. Sounds fine. Here comes that spite building. I'm surprised they didn't put the shrine in play actually to start building up damage on not only my guys. I mean, the, when the EVs evolve, they do heal. Um, one of them will definitely stick around to be a Jolteon for them though. But uh, get damage on their own ADP so they can start moving it off with that Jinx. Move the damage off the ADP with the Jinx to build up more damage on these spirit tombs. Um, and they do play. I'm sure they play the the uh, big charm so they can get that up to that like uh, how much damage you hit with the spirit tomb then if you have. Uh, how many damage can you You can get the eight, so you can get up to 250, uh, 280 with, um, 280 damage with, uh, with the ADP GX attack, plus some shrine ticks. Right, so they're down three shrine. This is their third shrine. I don't think they play more than three shrine. I think three shrine is probably, probably how much shrine they play. All right, here they have to come all in, all these shrine ticks on all my dudes. We only play one stadium, a Thunder Mountain, but, uh, if we replace their last shrine, they can't actually do anything anymore. All right, so we got the... Flareon here. Gonna get that heal, that evolve. Um, now we're looking for an energy of Vaporeon and a Jolteon and an E-Power, I guess. Uh, did not quite 
get there. Um, we can still, we could dead a change if we want to do a scoop up heads. I don't think I want to though. I think we're going to put this in the deck. Um, grab that Jolteon. Evolve the Jolteon. I'm going to hard retreat uh, here. I could scoop up and then try and KO this Jirachi though, I guess. Which would be pretty good to get a knockout right now. Uh, we could try that. Oh, let's do that. Um, still thinking about using Dead I Change, but I think I want to scoop this up next turn after the Shrine Ticks come through again. Um, and then go from there. But I do want to make this guy the Vaporeon, so maybe I won't do that. We could Dead I Change. We could just Dead I Change, dig for that Thunder Mountain, dig for that, dig for that Vaporeon. But I don't think that's worth it. Yeah, let's just go with that Head Bolt here. Knock out this Jolteon, or Jirachi, not Jolteon. Knock out the Jirachi. There's another EVGX. That's probably going to be coming into play for us. Didn't get any more EVs off that research. It would have been nice to like see one, one more EV off that research there. I think um, it's fine though. Not that big of a deal. So yeah, we're looking for. What are we looking for here? We want to knock out this ADP. That's for sure. So yeah, they can start stacking up damage like this with Shrine doing damage on their own ADP. The the rainbows doing own their damage on their ADP, and then they start moving it off to the spirit tombs, which is pretty cool. Actually, it's a pretty cool, uh, <laughs> pretty cool like um, interaction here with this deck. Um, you play Shrine to get more damage on your opponent's GX Pokemon. Um, it hits your own ADP. You move the damage off with the Jinx to make your Spirit Tombs do more damage. Yeah, it's kind of a it's kind of a cool interaction there. I like it a lot. Um, this is definitely a deck that I'll be showcasing for you guys at some point. Um, this is probably Ross's list. Um, Ross got uh, top four, I believe, at the Limitless Qualifier one with this. Maybe got top eight. He he, he placed at least top eight. I know that for sure. Uh, the deck, his list was really cool. Really really. Really, really, really cool. And this looks like, yeah, the triple Jinx. Um, I know he played the three Jinx. Definitely gonna be a deck. Definitely gonna be a deck that I'm gonna be showcasing for you guys at some point. All right. Here comes that Alter Creation. And then from there, they really only need two knockouts to win the game. Oh, bringing up my Flareon. That's annoying. We do have a scoop up in hand. Um, so we can pick it up, try and get it uh, off the field. Let's see if we can get heads here. Scoop up. That's pretty lucky, not gonna lie. We'll take it though. To the active bench. Bench. Um gonna big charm. Yeah, big charm this guy. Put a lightning here. Evolve, heal that guy up. I don't think I need the Vaporeon on this turn. I don't think it's I mean it would be a lot for them to take a, a knockout on me with the spirit tomb, so. Um it will be okay. Ooh, got a lot more Pokemon to put down here. Alright, alright, the whole squad. Uh, showing up and then yeah just gonna go ahead I think we might swift run actually just not take a hit from our opponent um, slow down the game a little bit um, could also just go with this actually electro bullet and actually I actually think this is best electro bullet here just snipe the spirit tomb take this damage out of play that was built up on a spirit tomb they can still move this damage off this guy to here but also now I might be able to one shot him with the head bolt if I get enough e-power we're doing 140 right now I can move 20 from here. Yeah, if I get three E powers, I could actually one shot their active. I guess that's a lot of E powers to get, but it is possible. Um, so there's no reason not to kind of play for it here. They're not knocking us out with the ultimate ray at all. The spirit tomb, I think, could maybe knock us out. Um, but now they don't have another spirit tomb set up to take a response knockout after that, really, because we knocked out that guy. So I think knocking out that guy was actually pretty good there. Um, definitely seems pretty good. Definitely seems pretty good. <laughs> we'll we'll figure out as the game develops. You know, maybe that wasn't worth. Maybe I should have hit this guy a little bit harder. Just gone for that two shot. Uh, but I'm still feeling pretty confident about being able to clean this guy up. The shrine is constantly ticking on it, stuff like that. So, yeah, I'm still feeling pretty good about it uh, overall. Removing this guy from play eventually. It's still it's pretty big with that big charm, especially. But I think we can uh, deal with it. Uh, probably no problem here in a, a couple of turns. I don't want to. I don't want to attack this thing twice. I want to hit this once really hard hopefully end it there's a catcher heads though this will allow them to ultimate ray knock out this guy we're gonna get these evgx's out of play next turn we're not gonna have any evgx's in play on our following turn we're gonna get rid of them uh, i could once again if they put one more damage on this i could just go again with that electro bullet um and punch this knock this out and just kind of punch this set this up and just leave no gx's in play for this thing to take advantage of um ideally um all right they got uh <laughs> It's a little bit, uh, a little bit of an improvement from there, from their last turn. They're not putting three on that spirit tomb, uh, but it does mean that there's that much less energy or that much less damage on the spirit tomb to actually try and take a one shot on my Jolteon on the following turn. So it's not like the worst thing ever for uh, for me. 
All right, here we go. I am gonna GX attack. I'm gonna leave this as my only GX in play and then GX attack as well. Top deck Vaporeon is actually super sick here. Um, Cause that means I can come in. Or does it matter? One of these guys can go in. And we can get the Jolty on here. Um, evolve this. Um, evolve this. I'm gonna attempt a scoop up heads here to evolve this guy. Threaten the evolver, yeah. All right, scoop up, give me that heads. Oof, a tails, okay. We can still GX attack though, so. Um, yeah, maybe I didn't even want to hit a scoop there. Maybe I wanted it for the next turn anyways. Didn't really think about that. All right, we're gonna stamp our opponent as well. Uh, we got zero E power to work with. We are still gonna GX attack. Uh, this is not that great of a spot actually. We're gonna attach to this Jolty and maybe use that one prizer on the next turn. Okay, um, yeah, Swift on GX. Hit it decently hard, uh, it's all right. Not as hard as we wanted, but I uh, guess gonna have to settle for that. And we're in an okay spot. Um, we need some E-Powers. We needed some E-Powers there. Some E-Powers this turn, next turn, some turn. Just need E-Powers, basically. Uh, what we can look to do is we can look to, once they send the Spirit Tomb up this turn, I'm sure they will, to hit us. We could Great Catcher this back into the active and then use that Electro Bullet. Um, knock out Spirit Tomb, or knock out this, and then probably snipe the Spirit Tomb as they do more damage to their own spirit tomb here um but they do need to yeah it looks like they might be sacrificing this jinx but this damage can't be here because i'll just do the same thing i'll electro bullet snipe that spirit tomb and then once again ultimate ray can't ko my jolteon it's too big the 60 60 hp from the vitality tier 30 hp from the big charm 290 hp on this jolteon it's massive um currently too much hp for our opponent to deal with they're gonna need something something else here oh there's another switch they could get themselves a gust effect here and then like take out one of my bench Pokemon, which would be pretty good. If they could take out something off the bench here, that wouldn't be bad at all. There's a Stella Wish. There's an Acro Bike. So they're digging, digging for an option here. Definitely looking for a gust effect. They definitely don't want to hit this. Uh, they should, they probably play the Fion. Uh, if this is Ross's exact list, they do have Fion in here. Um, so we'll see. They might have that Fion. Do they play four Shrine? It looks like they play four Shrine actually. Yeah, three four shrine okay four shrines of punishment i thought it was three um looks like it's four um here comes that uh ominous posture all right they healed the spear tomb again so we can't knock it out um and one more time two and two on the jinx um our jolteon's in a little bit of trouble we might attack with this jolteon and just kind of hope they can't bring up this guy on the next turn and then knock out this guy on the following turn i think that has to be our game plan here we can pop the coco prism we're going to get this energy out of this guy. I'll put it here because this guy only does it for GX Pokemon. Reduces the energy cost. Um, then use that Head Bolt. Take the knockout on this Jinx. And then we have this guy set up still with the Head Bolts. So I guess they only have Head Bolts here to knock out this guy on the following turn. Um, I, I think that's just the game plan. I can't think of anything else to do. And just hope our opponent doesn't have that, uh, that Gust effect here. So the Jolteon... Then we have Great Catcher for the next turn to win the game. I'm going to go ahead and shuffle in. If we get stamped or something, I don't know if the deck plays stamp or not. Um, I would want to Dene in the deck so I could uh, Dene change potentially. Yeah, Retreat and Headbolt. Knock out the Jinx. Go down to those three prize cards left. ADP's worth three prize cards. So we should knock them out to win this one. We're close. It's just going to come down. Yeah, our opponent can get enough damage. So if they attach, let's see if they build in spite, move a damage over, attach a rainbow. Up to five, they'll be him for 250. Yeah, that's enough, more than enough to knock out our Jolty on GX here. So they just need a gust effect. Let's see. Looks like they have one Pokemon catcher left. They maybe play two great catcher. Um, at the very least, have two poke or one Pokemon catcher left. I'm pretty sure this plays four. So um, have a Pokemon catcher left. There's that rainbow attachment. And like I said, might have a second great catcher left. Let's find out right here, right now. If they do have it, is it in the deck? I guess is also the question on top of whether or not they play it uh stellar wish coming in let's see there's an acro bike they saw their whole deck there though so if there if it was in the deck they definitely just take it there's the catcher and it is a head so it looks like we are going to be losing this one building spite move the damage up it was close so we got a close um I'm trying to think if there's anything else i could have done on that last turn i could have like reset or if i did it if i did a change and i put a gx and another gx in play but i guess it doesn't really matter i could look for my fourth scoop up to heal this guy but if they get the catcher under the it's the same thing here yeah i just came out of that catcher heads. if they didn't get it we had great catcher knock out adp next turn not not so lucky this time our opponent is a little bit more fortunate um and they will uh walk away with the uh the dub overall we did what we could just wasn't enough this time around
Okay, getting into one here. We did open the wrong Eevee. If we're going to start an Eevee, we want to open the other Eevee. We could try and scoop this one up, get into the other Eevee, and then use that uh, follow my tail ability. We are up against Blacephalon. Um, but it looks like we might have to dead change this hand off the rip. Uh, and reset stamp is one of the cards that's really good against Blacephalon. But we do play two, so we can hopefully uh, get another one out there um, at some point later in the game. Utilize that. There's the uh, Zacian from our opponent. Here comes the... Fiery Flint, uh, three energy in the discard pile. Always fine for that. Oh, two, two, two. They got rid of a switch. Ooh, I don't know about that. Um, and then here comes probably that Intrepid Sword after, yeah. After the attachment, here comes the Intrepid Sword. All right, so we are going to see what our top deck is and then probably Dead Exchange plus grab a follow my tail, try and scoop up. Oh, no. Uh, well, one of the pretty much only cards we didn't want to see there, uh, we drew. All right. Dead Exchange isn't in here, though, so we're not uh, dead in the water quite. Gonna definitely gonna definitely gonna try and follow my tail. Maybe we can get at least that. Nope, not yet. Uh, attach here, and then dead change. Might be able to get another scoop up and try that again. But uh, yeah, that's literally this may be the worst top deck we could have gotten. Um, no lie, that's probably that probably is the worst top deck. All right, so let's see here. Uh, Cherish ball. Grab another guy. These guys. We have the other Vaporeon in the deck, so I think I will. Ditch the Vaporeon. Keep the research around because draw supporters are just really good. But having more HP is also really good. I'm going to ditch the Vaporeon here. I definitely want to Marnie this turn. So, just grab the, Do we have any Cherish Ball? We do have a Cherish Ball left, so it'd be easier to find the other one. All right. Grab this guy. And then, yeah, let's kill our opponent's hand here. Hopefully, they get, you know, one turn slower until they get the uh, attack off. We could go for the scoop up. The scoop up at this point doesn't really make any sense to do, I don't think. I actually. I don't hate it, uh, but I'd rather have this thing maybe even take a hit and not even... Well, this thing's not that threatened by Blazer because of the big charm. Um, I kind of want to scoop it up, to be honest. Let's see if we can get it. I'm going to go for it. Because um, they're mostly going to be one-shotting us anyways. I'm going yeah, to go ahead and follow my tail here. Um, yeah, get the, the rest of my EVs out of the deck. Thin out the deck a little bit here. Uh, we're gonna calm, you know, this Eevee back in. We'll get a Jolteon probably, and then play Research. Discard this Eevee GX because we won't need. Uh, we might want to keep the Eevee GX around. Hopefully, they just don't knock us out. It's gonna be hard for them to knock us out after that Marnie, though. I feel like they haven't really established too much of a board or anything. Usually, it's fine for them to get the knockout if they already have like three energy on a Blacephalon. But our opponent obviously does not have have that. There's a Pidgey. You don't see that very often anymore in the Blounds decks. The Pidgey, Pidgey Blounds. It's been a while. Uh-oh. Is that a welder? Last card in their hand, a welder. Oh, no. We could lose this Eevee. That would really stink to lose this Eevee. Uh, if I had to guess, I'd say we probably would. They just need one fire energy here off of that welder uh, to pull off the circus for the knockout. And it looks like they got it. 100 damage. That is super unfortunate. Uh, but nothing we can do about it. Just going to have to get back into it. Eevee to the active. Going to calm away the Eevee GX. Bench and Eevee. Uh, Cherish Ball is pretty good as well. So we can go... Cherish ball here. Get this. Uh, we definitely just want to knock this out. So I'm going to calm away the EVGX, like I said. Grab myself the Jolteon. Um, and then we need an E Power, an Energy, or Flareon. Uh, also, could get the um, Thunder Mountain. Thunder Mountain would also work. Evolve this guy. Bench EV. I'm just going to research. Getting that extra card draw could be the difference maker. Let's see here. We got energy. We got e-power. All right. We're in business for this first knockout. That was close. I'm not going to swift run GX because there's actually not a terribly good chance that they return knock us out, I don't think. They would need quite a bit of stuff. So I'm I'm comfortable with the, the head bolt here, not using the swift run. We'll save swift run for later. Ideally, you combo swift run with reset stamp. Not going to happen when our opponent... Uh, yeah, when they, uh, <laughs> not going to happen when our opponent, uh, or when we discard both of our reset stamp on turn one, though. So we're probably going to use our GX attack a little bit more aggressively um, at some point in this game. We'll see. Here are the birds, double Pidgeotto. All right, calm down. Yeah, it's the Pidgey Blounds, man. It's been a while <laughs> since I've seen Pidgey Blounds. Uh, they've been quick in it as well, so they're really aggressive about finding their Pokemon, but why not? Um... Yeah, I don't know how good it is. I haven't played in a long time. Makes me kind of want to try it out. As you guys know, I am a big fan of Baby Blounds in general. I like playing my Baby Blounds. Um, so maybe I'll try out the Pidgey Blounds once again. Um, 
Here we go, retreat to the Pidgey and pass. We can actually knock this out with the Electro Bullet because it is weak to Lightning and actually get 30 on one of these Pidgeotos on the bench to uh, kind of set that up to be knocked out through maybe another Electro Bullet later on. Big Charm, super good here. Uh, I'm gonna attach to this EV over here and then play Cynthia. And we could even Electro Bullet knock this thing out. We have two E powers left in deck and if we get the Flareon out, there's the two E powers. So if we get Flareon and a Jolteon, we can actually Electro Bullet knock out the Baby Blount and then also knock out this Pidgeotto. But we're short a Jolteon. Um, there's another E power. We're short a Jolteon. GX and a Flareon as of right and now. We can also take the knockout with this Jolteon uh, if we have to, which it looks like we might have to next turn just because we don't have anything else to work with here. Uh, we also don't have the Vaporeon out right now, so this thing only has that 230 HP, which is not not a whole ton. All right, they're going with the Blown send up. Looks like they're pretty confident. That makes me a little bit nervous. I definitely would like to have, uh, um, yeah, it looks like, oh man, retrieval right off the bat. We know they got the welder in hand, so we're just kind of hoping that they don't, uh, <laughs> don't get everything here. Uh, maybe they end up just like an energy short or so, but I'm not gonna lie. I had to guess I'd say they had the combo here. We can knock this out here with this guy next turn. We'd much rather knock it out with the Jolteon GX, but we just don't have that in hand. That Cynthia draw was very awkward. If we do, did have a Jolteon though, uh, if we top take a Jolteon or a way to get a Jolteon, we can just hard retreat and then do that that head uh, Electro Bullet play I was talking about, where we can knock this out. We have triple E power now. So Electro Bullet, we can do 120 with that and then knock out this Pidgeotto as well, which is a super good uh, just double knockout on the turn. That's just super strong for us. Um, so that's a pretty cool next turn if we can pull that off. We'll have to wait and see what our top deck is. So we'll just send up our baby Jolteon because we can for sure get the knockout with that. We're hoping we top deck a Jolteon GX, then we can just hard retreat. Triple E power, Electro Bullet, takes those two knockouts on the turn. Maybe they'll whiff. Um, if I had to guess here, I'd say they wouldn't whiff, though. Um, I'm, I'm guessing that they have the uh, the knockout pretty cleanly here. Um, and, yeah, nothing we can do about it. They're in a pretty good spot. All right, they've used their Pal Pad as well. That's, like, the a potential turning point in, in this with this deck against some decks is just, like, oh, if they don't get the Pal Pad, they're, not, they're just going to run out of, uh, you know, Welders, not going to be able to attack every turn. Uh, but once they get that pal pad, you know, they're going to have plenty of uh, welders to close out the game. Here's the flint for the four energy. Um, and they do need um, five more now. They got the attachment. So there's the five energy in hand right here. Um, or, you know, maybe they miscount. Nope, that should be it right there, actually. Four off the flint, two from here. That is the knockout. Down two retrievals and one crystal only as well. It's got plenty of gas left in the tank. And we do not have any good late game because we don't have that reset stamp. But it's still possible we can pull this one out. Like I said, it's still possible. Just tough. Hopefully we top deck a Jolteon. Hopefully we top deck a Jolteon and then go from there. Here comes the Circus. Ooh, a Lucky Egg as well. Well, we don't have any stamps really to drop them. I guess it's still pretty good here, though, because our hand is going to get... Uh, what do they have? A five-card hand left? Oh, four-card hand. Four-card hand. Level four-card hand. So they'll get plus three cards off that Lucky Egg. Interesting to play the lucky egg, the lucky egg alongside the Pidgeotos, but definitely not the worst thing ever. All right, we're lining up that head bolt. That is not a Jolteon GX. Uh oh, this one is starting to slip away from us. I think I got a W double E power head bolt here. Head bolt. Now get the knockout. They're gonna draw a lot of cards off of that. Um, <laughs> if I like, most likely gonna see a welder. Um, there's a supporter a little late. Um, we can get the knockout next turn. We're going to look to use the GX attack from a Jolteon GX. Use that swift run. Um, they send up a Pidgeotto here. That probably just means they have a U-turn board in hand, though. Or, yeah, there we go. Adventure bag. Get themselves U-turn board. Yep, there it is. And a Lucky Egg. Man, it seems like even if we had the stamp, it might not have done anything anyway. So it's not really that big of a deal that uh, we maybe threw them away early on. Um, for the, the way our opponent's list, list looks, usually against Baby Blounds, uh... They don't have that much recovery, but when they're playing Pidgeotto and two or three Lucky Eggs, who knows how many Lucky Eggs they actually play. Uh, that's good recovery against Stamp or Marnie for sure. And they play the Oracorio GX. All right, they just actually have everything in this deck, uh, literally everything, um, for for draw support and like recovery against stuff like Stamp and Marnie. Oracorio, the Pidgeotto's eggs. Um, yeah, I'm not feeling too bad about losing my Stamps early on there. Uh, I think our only out is to help they whiff Welder here, but I think it's actually probably impossible to whiff Welder. Uh, they can airmail, put bad cards on bottom of the deck, and then they have this um, Dance of Tribute, and draw three more cards. I guess it's it's maybe, all right, so it's technically possible, actually, that they whiff Welder, I think. Uh, there's four in the deck, though, so I probably have to have, they'd probably have to be like two of them prized. I don't know. 
it's it's not looking great. We'll see. Have not used Dancer Tribute yet, I don't think. Yep, here it comes. Dancer Tribute. Seven card deck left. I think they already airmailed a couple times. So yeah, there's the welder. I guess they could run out of energy, but they still have three crystals left. Um, yeah, not having that Vaporeon out earlier to kind of make it harder for them to take those knockouts. Uh, definitely could have been the difference maker. They maybe would have just had the energy anyways. Um, hard to tell. They don't need a ton of energy on this one, that's for sure. Uh, we'll hopefully make them work a little bit harder on this next knockout. But once again, I don't think it's going to change anything. They're pretty well set up here. I guess the one thing we could hope for here... Um, Oh, they're actually going with a great catcher play here. Gonna knock out my Eevee, I assume. Yeah, there's no reason to knock out the Dedenne. I right, going with a great catcher play here. And yeah, if they have like a Cramorant, they can snipe my Dedenne to win the game on the next turn. We could scoop up the Dedenne though. That is possible. So we're gonna try and pull that off. Just knock out the Blown as well. They hit me with the reset stamp. All right, all right. Got the Jolteon, but we actually currently don't knock out the Blacephalon. Oh no, we can. We can get the Flareon combo away the Eevee. That, and then we can actually go for that GX attack with the Swift Run. Um, and then look to Great Catcher knock out Oracorio on the following turn with an E power. Um, yeah, and that's the game plan. And they didn't they didn't uh, put the egg on the Oracorio, but I guess their hand is uh, fine anyways. All right, well they're not gonna run out of baby blocks. That was one of my hopes. Uh oh, they didn't get they only got energy back though. All right, maybe they could still run out of baby blocks. Maybe it was a misclick. Maybe they intended to do it. Maybe they could run out of damage here actually. Let's see. Let's see how this goes. Gonna get the K on the EV. Five card hand. We're gonna knock out this Blown. Um, knock out the Blown, and then we will try and get Great Catcher knock out the Oracle. We have no no draw support as of right now, so we need like a draw supporter on the top here. That's a scoop up. That can pick up the Dedenne though, um, and then that gives us draw support for the turn. Let's see if we get this heads. All right. I'm gonna calm away the EVGX. Get the Flareon. Now they could play a second Great Catcher. Um, so maybe I don't want a dead a change yet, but digging for two, I, then I don't get to play a supporter this turn, which means I dig that much less into my deck. So, but if they play another great catcher, I'm definitely going to regret it. Yeah, I definitely regret it if they play another great catcher, but I don't know what they play for sure. Let us, let's just go for it. Let's just go for it. Uh, there's a Marnie. That's pretty good. We got a great catcher. Um, now that we have that down, we can just throw this down. Um, I don't want to great catcher though. I'm gonna KO this next turn. I want to get rid of this guy. The threat. I feel like I feel like I want to get rid of that. Uh, we could Marnie. Could just Cynthia. I think we just Cynthia here because I don't really care about my opponent's hand uh, that much. We need to dig for. Got more great catchers. We need to dig for the. Um, go ahead and use this. What do we need to dig for there? Something else that I didn't get. Um, and I can't remember what it was. Oh, the E power. I'll go ahead and use this on these two guys. Yeah, we need that E power. <laughs> All right, and uh, yeah, Swift Run GX. Knock out the Blown. Plus one card off the egg. We're just hoping they don't have another great catcher. They don't play Cramorant. Uh, yeah, no great catcher, no Cramorant. Maybe no Blown. There's three here. What if their last prize is their last Blown? What if they don't play the Victini? Uh, there's a couple things that could go right for us here. There's also a lot of things that could go wrong. Uh, really depends on what is actually in their list here, more so than uh, than anything. So uh, just gonna have to wait and see, because uh, there's no way we can really predict what our opponents got in there. Like, they even had the reset stamp um, on that last turn, alongside everything else. So yeah, can't really predict uh, what's gonna happen here. I feel like there is a Blacephalon GX. I guess I probably could have predicted them probably playing Blacephalon GX. And here comes the Burst GX. So we're gonna lose this one as well um and that's gonna do it for this video with the jolty unbox i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did give the video a like enjoy the content be sure to subscribe have a good day thanks for watching and peace